Hey everyone, some interesting news about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 and its chipset options, especially for US buyers. So here's the scoop. Samsung has never used Exynos chips in its foldable phones before. They've always stuck with Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. Naturally, we expected the Galaxy Z Flip 7 to follow the same pattern worldwide. But things got a bit surprising this time. It turns out the Galaxy Z Flip 7 will be powered by the Exynos 2500 chipset in some markets, including Samsung's home country South Korea and India. Yep, that's a switch from what we've been used to. Now here's the twist. Reports say that in the US, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 will still come with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. That means US customers get to enjoy the Snapdragon power, while other markets might get the Exynos version. Other regions like China and maybe Japan are also expected to get the Snapdragon variant, but the big split is mainly between US and a few others versus South Korea, India, and some markets. One important thing to note, this chipset split is only for the Galaxy Z Flip 7, which is the clamshell foldable. The Galaxy Z Fold 7, Samsung's book-style foldable, is expected to stick with Snapdragon 8 Elite in all regions, so no Exynos for the Fold 7, at least for now. Samsung's new foldables, including the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7, are expected to launch around July or August this year. And there's also talk about a more affordable foldable called the Galaxy Z Flip FE possibly coming soon. So if you're in the US, you'll likely get the Snapdragon-powered Galaxy Z Flip 7, while other markets might get the Exynos 2500 version. What do you think about Samsung's decision to split chipsets like this? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hey everyone, Samsung is gearing up to launch the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7, and we got some fresh info about the Flip 7 that just popped up on Geekbench. Thanks to reliable tipster Abhishek Yadav, we now know the Galaxy Z Flip 7 is running on the new Exynos 2500 processor and rocking Android 16 out of the box. The Geekbench scores show a single core score of 2012 and a multi-core score of 7563. The model tested comes with 12GB of RAM and carries the model number SMF766U, which looks like the Unlock US variant. While those scores are decent, the Exynos 2500 doesn't quite match the performance of Snapdragon-powered phones. But keep in mind, these numbers might be from an early test build, so we could see improvements before the official launch. There's also been talk about a Snapdragon 8 Elite variant of the Galaxy Z Flip 7 which reportedly offers better performance than the Exynos version. So Samsung might keep both chip options depending on the market. The official launch is expected at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event in July 2025, where the Flip 7 will likely debut alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Rumors suggest the Flip 7 will feature a larger cover screen, improved performance, and possibly some cool new battery tech with thinner battery cells. On top of that, Samsung might introduce a budget-friendly foldable called the Galaxy Z Flip 7 FE alongside the main models. And all these phones should come with one UI 8 based on Android 16 right from the start. So stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the launch. What feature are you most excited about in the Galaxy Z Flip 7? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest Samsung news.